Hey Shop Warriors, we're going to review the Commercial Electric. This is the 1001-391-103. This is the Home Depot brand. Four foot linear LED light. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, this is the Commercial Electric. Uh, four foot LED light strip. The 1001-391-103 model. This is uh, the brightest four foot uh, that they have at Home Depot at 3,600 lumens, which is on the high end, definitely on the high end for a single four foot uh, LED. Uh, a lot of them are more around 2,000 lumens. So at 3,600 lumens, this is, this is pretty bright. So this is what you get in the box. Uh, the light, you get your user guide, and uh, you do not get a J-Box cover. That's a, an additional uh, cost. So I'll talk about that in a minute. So let me open this up and show you what's inside. And this is, uh, this is kind of a soft plastic, by the way, this lens. So to open this up, there are four little kind of tabs right here. There's one. So if you squeeze this, this metal, you can bend it a little bit. So if you squeeze there, it pops out. And then there's another one. There we go, right here, three, and then the fourth one, there we go. So if you squeeze at these points, it will pop right off. All right, so inside we just have our two wires to wire it up. And then we have, we have our ground wire and then a couple of mounting screws. And you can see the mounting holes are here and here. So that's all you get in the box. Let me close it back up and show you the knockouts. So to run, so this is a hardwired unit. This doesn't have the, the plugs you know, where you can just plug it into an outlet. This has to be hardwired. Um, so there's no, there's no plugs or anything else, but there are knockouts all around it. Let me show you those. Put this back on. There we go. So there are these knockouts here to, that you can run your wiring through, uh, seven eighths of an inch each. So they have some on the sides, they have some on each end, and then on the back, they have three more. So plenty of knockouts to run your wiring. Um, if you're replacing an existing uh, light and you have a J-Box, then you'll wanna get this. This was extra um, to cover your plate because you know, J-Box can be about this big so it would stick out if this is all you're putting up on your ceiling. So you'd want to get this cover to cover up that hole. Your mounting screws, and that is it. Let's just cover the specs on this commercial electric LED light. This is available at Home Depot. The bulb type is integrated, meaning the LED light is integrated into the fixture. You cannot replace the bulb on this. So once, if the, if the LED goes bad, you have to replace the fixture and the light itself. So it's an integrated LED. Uh, the lumens for this light fixture are 3,600 lumens. The color temperature is 4,000. The CRI rating is 80. Lifespan is 50,000 hours. The watts per light, so for the, this, in this case, the entire fixture is 40 watts. Uh, the mounting type is surface. So it's designed to mount you know, flush with the ceiling, um, not hanging down. So it's surface mounted. Uh, power source is hardwired. Uh, this is linkable. You know, anything hardwired is linkable. Uh, not dimmable. And the warranty from the manufacturer is five years. Okay, so here I've got the light rigged up on my, my test rig, if you will. I've got the light LED on the right, and the this is a regular fluorescent four foot with two bulbs. So I'm gonna try to get the camera to adjust to different lighting. So this is uh, when I have it focused on the light, and I'll focus on the wall here, kind of give you a sense of the brightness and the color and the difference between the two. And these are the only lights I have on in my shop right now. 
So no other lights coming in here. So the fluorescent, I'll back up here, see how that looks. The fluorescent on the left is 4100K, that's the color. And the, the LED is rated at 4000, so they're pretty much the same color. Although it's, it's hard to see on the camera, but the fluorescent looks a little bit yellowish, more yellowish than the LED. But they look pretty close to the same. And then the, uh, the fluorescent is rated at 2900 lumens. And the LED is rated at 3600. So just to give you a sense of the brightness as well. So the LED is rated a little bit higher, but then you have two bulbs. But I would say looking at it, and it's really, it is hard to see on this camera, on any camera, <laughs> but uh, I would say the overall brightness, that kind of as you see there, the LED still looks, still looks brighter despite that it's not nearly as many lumens. So total for the two fluorescent bulbs is 5,800 lumens, and the total for the LED is 3,600. So the fluorescent, while it says it's got more lumens, I would say the LED still seems brighter. And part of that may be the lenses, the lens you know that's on the fluorescent versus this kind of single lens on the LED. But anyways, hopefully that gives you an idea of kind of the color and the brightness levels and the differences between the two. Let's. Let's wrap this video up and talk about the pros and cons of this unit. So on the plus side, I like how it diffuses light. So compared to some of the ones from Amazon and the others that I've seen, which are uh, generally much thinner than this guy, um, and this is, let's see how thick this is. This is uh, two, almost two and a half, two and a quarter. On this side, it kind of bulbs out. On this side, it's a little narrower. Um, like one and three quarters on the back side here. So it's it's a it's a wider unit, bigger, thicker here. Um, and this uh, lens is further away from the LEDs, which allows the light to disperse more. Um, and the way that this is made, this seems maybe a little thicker uh, than some of the others I've seen. So due to that and, and the size of this, you get a really nice, um, it kind of softens the light. Other LED lights that I've seen can seem a little more harsh to your eyes. Uh, if you've ever seen a really bright LEDs, like, you know, like sometimes from the back of a car, for example, like Cadillacs, I've noticed the back of Cadillacs have those really bright red LEDs. Um, the kind of the intensity of it kind of hurts your eyes a little bit. Um, this does not do that. This does a great job of diffusing the light very well, so you get a nice soft light out of it. So really like that. I do think that, and it feels really good, it feels sturdy. I like all the knockouts that makes wiring this thing, hard wiring it very nice and easy. Um, the holes for mounting are very easily accessible from inside. So I don't foresee mounting this being difficult at all or wiring it. I think that the other, so if, if the, the downside to it is it's $40 for a single four foot. So you can definitely find you know, cheaper four foot LED lights on Amazon. Um, but I think if you only need one or two, uh, then this is a really great option and you can go down to Home Depot and just pick it up, um, which is great. The, the downside though is if you need, if you want to do a whole bunch in your garage and kind of light the whole thing, like I'm wanting to do in mine, my two car garage, I'm wanting to do um, 12 feet, uh, three rows that are 12 feet each. So 12 feet, 12 feet, and 12 feet. So if I added all that up, I'd, I'd need nine, nine of these, and that would get pretty costly. Um, so if you're gonna cover a whole garage, it may not be the cheapest way to go, um, but if you only need one or two, I think it is a really great option. The other nice thing about this one is that it is 3,600 lumens, which is really bright for a single four foot LED. Most of the others are around 2,000 to 2,400 range. So for a single, LED, you do get a lot of light for your money, which is great. And I've got some of that, the cost breakdown and have a, a look at how much your cost per lumens and 
uh, cost per foot are for the lights on the, the Google Sheet that I mentioned. Um, so you, be sure and check that out. Uh, the other thing I like about this is a five-year warranty, which is on the high end. Some only offer two-year, three-year warranties. This offers a five-year, so it's on the high end of the warranties, um, which is great. You also, you know, it's only available from Home Depot. So you do get the, you know, easy returns at Home Depot. And, you know, it's backed by, by Home Depot, so that's, that's great. So those are the pros and cons of this unit. Um, I've got more information in, in the comparison of this to uh, several other uh, uh, LED lights. I've pretty much picked the top from Home Depot, Lowe's, and Amazon. I've compared them all. So be sure and check out the reviews of all the other uh, LED lights. And uh, if you want to see more information in the Google Sheet, I've got, I've got all this listed there. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. If there's anything that uh, I missed or anything else you want to know, be sure and leave a comment. And I'll respond and try to answer your questions as best I can. So I hope that's been a thorough review of this unit and you found it helpful and uh, helps, you, helps you make a decision in the LED light that you want to buy. Thanks, guys.